So bearing in mind, all of this comes, okay, when you're in transition, okay? Now a number of you will have seen this before, so I'm not gonna spend a long time on it. If you're new, please go back and look on the, um, on the YouTube channel. There's loads of times I've been doing this trans changing transition curve. There's a spe specific one around change, I think. So remember, product and energy up here, and time along the bottom. We're quite happily going along, and the change happens. After a change takes place, our productivity drops, and we go into shock. Okay, uh, and when you're in shock, you can't be as productive as you were. After shock occurs, we actually start to talk ourselves out of the change, and our productivity goes back up, and we go into denial. Okay, so that makes us feel a little bit better, so we start to deny what the change is actually really meaning, and so on, and so on, and so on, and so on. Um, and then the realization of the change starts to take hold, okay? And we start to drop down this transition curve. So, you might feel like you've been bumped over the head, so that's the, um, that's the kind of the whack around the head. You might feel frustrated or anxious or angry, or you might feel low, sad, depressed, tired, exhausted, okay? Which is all those words that we've just seen. So this is where you start to feel those bad things during any type of change. It's on this downward curve, and then we get stuck in the rut. And if you remember, this rut at the bottom, there's an exclamation mark there, and there's a reason for that, is that's the point, the worst and the best point uh, place to be. It's the best place to be because it's the point of realization. So it's the point where you realize you can then get your head around what's going on and move forward. However, but before you get to that point, it's also the worst point to be because that's when you are at your lowest. And let me tell you, ladies and gents, this is where organizational terrorists are born, okay? So I know I'm using COVID as an example for this session, as COVID made you a player or a terrorist. However, imagine this is an organizational change, okay? So the changes come in, people have got into shock, then they've got into denial, so it might be a restructure, for argument's sake, yeah? Um, <clears throat> you know, I don't want to touch on any nerves here. I know a number of you guys have been going through restructure and contracts and all that type of stuff. This, this will happen, okay? Change, shock, denial. Then the realization of the change takes hold and people get to the low point. Now, this is where you will find terrorists are born. Organizational terrorists, okay? Or cultural terrorists, if you're looking at it from a COVID point of view. Um, so in a business, people then start working against the grain, okay? So they start working, um, kind of rowing the other way, and I'll come on to that uh, in a little while. If you know, if you're trying to go this way, they'll try to drag you back that way. Um, we've seen this with COVID. We've seen people down here with COVID. Um, people that are dancing around the streets of Liverpool and Manchester when the bars close at 10 o'clock with no masks on, as close as they like to each other. That's terrorist-like behavior. That is, that's revolting against, yeah, and not acting about it in the right way. If they were acting about it in the, in, in the right way, if they really thought that it was wrong, what the government was doing, they would still be safe, they would put a process together, they would wear masks, they would social distance, and they would go and pick it 10 down in street. So that was, that's, what, that's what players would do, okay? Terrorists, they just move against it, okay? But this is where they're born, in this little rut here, and that's quite important to know uh, in an organization, because if you've got them, that's where they will have been born. Um, and when somebody's not feeling great, anxious, angry, fed up, depressed, uh, whatever it may be, okay? And of course, changes take time, don't they? So depending on the time, I mean, we've got a little dip here. Imagine if that dip came all the way down and then started going up. Now, that dip can be a lot longer than that little dip that you've got there. Or you can try and make it a little bit shorter and get people through it in a more effective way. So we all know what helps people through change, information, involvement, and individual attention. Those three things, I haven't got them for you today on a slide, but I'll reiterate those again to help people through this information, involvement, and individual attention, okay? So this is where some people have turned in to being a terrorist. So we just need to make that point, this is the place in change. 
Um, however, it is also the point of realization. So what a good player would do at this point is they would start to try and explore the new ways of the world. Okay, they would start to try and explore the new ways uh, of the world. Uh, and some days they're going to try and get up, and some days they might slip back down and have a bad day. But at some point they get to a point of acceptance. That's what players ultimately do. They look for the good. They've come down here. They've felt a bit of pain, but they look for the good try and work out how they can move forward, explore the new ways of learning, and then get to the point of acceptance and get through transition. Whereas terrorists generally stop here and they hang around here as long as they possibly can. If you have people in your business that are still moaning about something that happened 10 years ago, they are stuck in transition. And I can't see your faces today, but I'm sure some of you just smirked or smiled when I said that people in your business that are still moaning about stuff that happened 10 years ago, um, they are stuck in transition. In other words, they are, uh, they are uh, portraying terrorists like acts. They are moaning about something without taking any action on it and a moan without any action is just a terrorist-like act. So we want to try and avoid that.